What's going on, fellas? All right. This is actually a very important topic. So you might want to listen up. Oftentimes, we guys get caught up into this situation of just investing more and more and more and more into the girl that we're talking to or we're dating or we're married to. Well, if you're married to her, you kind of shot yourself in the own, on your own feet. You kind of handcuffed your own self to, to her. So it's a little bit hard to get out of that. But oftentimes we get into this habit and into the, fall into this trap of just putting and pouring more of our time, energy, and effort into someone who's not worth t giving to. And this is what happens when you keep putting more and more into something. Your emotions start to get attached more and more into it. And I know we're supposed to be manly men and we're not supposed to think with, the, with, with emotions. We're supposed to be logical. But why even put you through that hassle, through that trouble, through that, through that heart, heartache and the headache of separating your emotions from your logic when you could have just stopped like five months ago or five weeks ago or five days ago or even five years ago and you wouldn't have invested so much into this person into this situation so it would have been much easier for you to get yourself away from that this is why this video is so important and this is the number one reason not number one reason the number one reason is scarcity mindset this is a very good reason one of the prime reasons of why guys don't leave toxic relationships why guys don't leave a toxic woman woman so here's some of my rules i want to share with you guys of when i dismiss a woman when i know that okay i need to let her go before i start listing them off i just want you guys to know that i look for reasons in a woman in a girl to dismiss her I purposely look for reasons. Do you know why? Because that's how important my time is, fellas. We're going to get to that in a little bit after I list these off. So first thing first, if I ask you a girl out, let's, let's just say that right now, first thing first, we meet a girl, I meet a girl in person. I'll go up to her, I'll talk to her. Hey, what's your name? Brianna, I'm Zeke. Brianna, nice to meet you. Are you from here? Yeah, all right, hey, cool. I would like to get to know you more. Let's hang out sometimes. That's my first pitch. I just pitched at her, right? If she tells me anything, anything else, rather than, yeah, sure, or yeah, sure, I can do that. Yeah, I'll be down. Of course. Sure. So anything positive, anything other than something positive, all right, have a good one, Brianna. See, this is what happens most of the time when you approach somebody in person. They'll try to give you all these bullshit excuses. They'll be like, oh, I don't know. I'm busy. I, I met a girl the other day at the gym. I walked up to her, introduced myself, pretty much pitched the same game I just told you guys about. She told me, oh, you know, I'm really busy. And she even hesitated right before she said that. That's what, like, she couldn't have made it any more clear that she, it was just an excuse. Bullshit ass excuse. She was like, oh, you know, I, I'm in PT school right now. Uh, I have two jobs. I don't know. I'm, very, I'm really busy all the time. And, I, and you know what I did? I smiled at her. I said, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, no worries. You seem like somebody who have a lot going on in your plate. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, make sure you get that degree, though. All right, take care. Have a good one. That's it. Don't let them see your butt hurt, obviously. That's another video topic. Never, be, never let a woman see your emotions. Even though it's killing you inside, don't let her know this. So, that's what's most likely going to happen. She's going to she's gonna bring something and for the most part it's probably gonna going to be like her work schedule or she's gonna be oh you know i have i have so much going on i'm busy oh you know i'm just i just got out of a relationship you know i'm really not looking for some something serious right now or you know like i don't know my family just got into town they're gonna be here for the next two weeks or two months i haven't seen him in a while you guys get the idea any excuse that you hear any answer that you hear that you hear unless it's a positive one positive one in a sense that unless she makes it see makes it unless she makes it obvious and very clear that yes she is down to hang out with you ditch her walk from her just walk she did you a favor fellas you would have wasted so much time trying to get this girl into your bed again more on that in a little bit later second one let's say now that we are pitching to someone online 
Maybe we matched with them on Tinder. Maybe we slide into their DMs, Facebook Messenger, whatever, wherever, on Snapchat, okay? Or even let's say we're texting. We just got this girl's number in person. Actually, I'll talk about this on the third one. For right now, let's say we are first. This is the first time we're talking to this, this girl online. We haven't met, met her in person yet. And here's the number one thing most of us get wrong. We think that just because we met somebody online means that we have to stick around for two weeks, even two months and talk to them online and over the phone and this, that and the other for them to get comfortable. So then we can finally hang out in person. Guys, that is utter garbage. Do you have any idea how many times I slept with girls online within the first five days that I met online? Maybe Tinder or Instagram, wherever. So no, you don't have to spend all this time. Do you know why she's doing this? Why she's keeping you in her orbit? It's because she wants to keep you as a beta male orbiter. She wants to keep getting that free validation, free attention. She has at least three other guys she's sleeping with right now. At least three. And the rest of them is her prospects. Do you wanna be her pros one of her prospects? Come on, fellas. Have a little bit more self-respect for yourself than that. So when that situation happens, when I'm talking to her back and forth, back and forth, I'll probably exchange maybe five minutes of conversations, okay? And then I'll be like, all right, hey, uh, you, seem pre uh, you seem pretty cool. You live pretty close to me. Let's hang out sometimes. I'd like to get to know you more. Now, your flake rate would be a lot higher online because, again, it's online. She has 50 other guys DMing her every day. So you're no different. It's a little bit different in person because she can see your confidence. She can get a feel of what kind of guy you are in person. In-person interactions are always better and a lot more different than online interactions anyways. You guys get that, right? You guys, you guys already know that. So that's why just know that this is going to be a flake for the most of the time. Third one. Third reason or time when I dismiss her is when I see that she just gave me her number in person or even let's say we're chatting online back and forth and she's taking an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, seven hours later, she messages you back. No. We already know these chicks out here are glued to their cell phone. The average person, the average text message, sorry, not the average, per not the average person, the average text message gets seen by the recipient within the first three minutes. So she's seen it. You're just not in the top of her priority list. You're not even in the top five of her priority list. That's why she's ignoring you. That's why, because she's probably seeing some other guy. You're not important. She's probably doing something else with her life. You're not important. This is why we tell you guys to get on your purpose, to make other things more important than women. Women are a byproduct of success. Matter of fact, they're a byproduct of life. They should never be your first priority. They're always the last. Keep them always the last. Keep your dog above of them, above them. Because your dog's more loyal than she is. Your dog's not gonna leave you just because you have cancer and you cannot go to work anymore and provide for him, for your dog. Your dog your dog gonna sit right next to your bed and lick your face. She's not gonna do that. Don't believe me? Okay. Fellas. A woman's need for constant attention is very, very high. So you'll notice that in the morning times and right before she goes to sleep are the prime times for her to re respond to you very quick. Why? Because these times are slow and boring time for her. So she needs to occupy her time with attention. Because right when she gets up, gets, gets, gets up from, from, uh, from her sleep, She's in our bed, she's not doing anything, she's just laying back, bored, going through her phone, and she needs time to, time to waste, your time to waste. That's why she's so quick to res respond back early in the morning. And later at night when she's about to go to sleep, or she's with her friends, maybe even sometimes you'll notice that. A girl is going to hang out with some friends and she's in a car, she's not, she don't, she's not the one driving, she's in the passenger seat, and you'll see she's Snapchatting you or texting you. Because that's when 
her day just got over. She probably just got done hanging out with and, and banging out some alpha dudes. Letting him come all over her face, gargle his cum, lick his booty. And now he's gone or she's leaving to go. And now she needs to fill the rest of her night with your attention and your time till she falls asleep. And the cycle repeats and repeats and repeats every single day. And throughout the day, when she's, when she's taking hours and hours to respond to you, she's getting that void filled, of that void of attention filled by other men. Even anywhere she goes, she's seeing other guys that are looking at her. She's seeing other guys that are trying to talk to her. She's seeing the other guys that are coming in her vicinity. That's enough for her to get, to get that dose of attention, to get that hit of attention. That's why she doesn't need your attention at that time because she's getting it from other, other men. She's just an attention whore. All girls are attention whores to someone. Fellas, next one I have on the list is obvious, plain and simple, is when she flakes. When she says that, yeah, she, when she agrees that, yeah, we'll hang out, and then you ask her, okay, so when are you free? Because you'll see this happening a lot too. Yeah, yeah, sure, we'll hang out. She gives you her number, you text her, so when are you free? Oh, I don't know, I'm just busy all the time, you know. I'm, I have a crazy schedule. Just leave her in red. Don't even bother responding to her. Don't even, you know how AMS, Alpha Male Strategies, talked about, you know, if a girl says that she's busy or she can't hang out or she flakes. Well, if she flakes, that's a different strategy. But if she says that I'm busy or whatnot, he t Alpha, AMS told you guys to pull back and then, and, and retract your offer and then hit, hit him back up, hit, hit him back up in a couple weeks. F that bullshit. F all that. No. Screw all that. We're not even going to hit it. We're not even going to say anything after that. She knows why you left her on red. She knows, fellas. She knows. She's not stupid. But remember when I said that don't let a woman see your emotions? That's why you leave her on silence. That's why you become silent. When you're silent, not only women, even men become uncomfortable being around you because they don't know what's in your mind. Silence is very uncomfortable for most people. And that's why you always see, even men try to break the ice with you, your guy friends. Happens to me all the time. I just sit there quiet if I'm with, the, with my guy friends. They, they want to bring up conversations, talk about this. I'm just chilling, looking out the window, and they're driving or whatever. Be stoic. Always be stoic. If you need to cry, let your emotions out because I know we have emotions too. Shocking, right ladies? Yeah, we feel things too. Go out somewhere by yourself. Go to the gym. Go to a boxing club. Let it out by yourself. Cry it out for crying out loud. At a lake or at a park by yourself. Don't let anybody see it. Just keep it to yourself. Not even your mama. Don't even let her see this. So when she flakes on you, that's it. No more. Pretty much the main point of the video is something that I'm about to get to right now. But pretty much, before I get to that, pretty much any time she doesn't get along with your program is when you get rid of her. Whatever program that you have. This is my program. You only get one chance with me, girl. No second chances. Definitely no third chances. So if you mess this up, hey, there's 5 billion other women. Or I don't know, 3 billion other women in the world. I'm going to find somebody. I don't really care even if I don't. Do you know why? Because at, at the end of the day, I got myself. I got somebody, which is myself, who I know will always have my back 100% of the time. Who I know I can trust 100% of the time. There's nobody like that in this world, even your parents, that you can't trust 100% of the time except yourself. Which is why you need to love yourself more than any other person, any other creature in this world. Yourself comes before anything, even before your kids if you have kids. Now. The main important point of why you want to dismiss women so quick is because your time is valuable. See, when Alpha Male Strategies talked about retracting and hitting them back up in a couple weeks, or when if a girl flakes on you, obviously you get rid of her, and if she hits you up, she, you just say that, if she say, hey, what's up, you just, you don't even ask her what's up. I had a mosquito on my leg. You just kind of just, kind of just go along with the flow, like with the conversation, unless she's asking you to hang out, you don't even ask her. You know how those are his strategies? My strategies are no, nothing, just leave. 
don't mess with this girl ever again. Unless she's texting you, hey, I'm in the area, I want to come through, let's hang out. Unless the text is that, don't even bother with that. Do you know why? Because it's that mindset that you are going to build if you keep doing this. If you keep following my strategies, you're going to build that mindset of, you know what? That's your loss. Do you know why? Because you fellas are the prize. How many more times do we have to keep saying this? You are the prize. They don't have anything to offer to you except their body. And they want our whole world to be given to them. How crazy is that? How crazy does that sound? But you are a high value man. We are high value males here. That sounds really, really cool, doesn't it? Oh, I'm a high value man. I'm this, I'm that. Uh, but you ain't shit till you actually practice it day in and day out. And none of this abundant mindset and that having that alpha mentality is not, is not gonna be, and none of this is gonna be developed overnight. You're going to have to practice day in and day out. I'm gonna go over there. Because it's dark, uh, it's getting dark out here. I'm gonna go over there, there's a little bit more light. But fellas, let me sit on this clear part of my car. This is the epitome of not being on your purpose. This is what happens when you're not on your purpose. You lose track of your own self. You lose the sight of your own self. Before you know, six years down the road with a, with a woman who's cheating on you with the guy she fell in love with six years before. The guy that you were, you were six years ago is the same guy she's now cheating with on you. But that guy is just not you anymore. You lost yourself within that whole process, within that whole time. The biggest thing somebody can take away from you is your manhood, is your mentality is your mindset. That's the biggest thing. No amount of money, no amount of, no amount of materialistic stuff will ever, ever replace your mindset. Rich people don't get rich when they have a billion dollar in their bank account. They get rich when they had one dollar in their, in their bank account, but they still had that mindset to think like a billion billionaire. Because we all know it takes time to build money. Fellas, our time is important. Even, you know, even AMS talks about it. Since he has evolved in his channel, right? Even he talked about it that, hey, I know I made these strategies a few years, few, few years ago, but now we're alpha males. We're high value males. Now his strategy is, you know what? I'm not even going to deal with you. I, I sense any kind of effery, any kind of, uh, you know, Time wasting stuff, I'm just gonna leave. Plain and simple. That's the mindset you need to develop. And some of you guys got all butthurt and stuff, and you're like, oh, what happened? Hey, miss, you told me to hit her back up two weeks later. People evolve, people develop a stronger alpha male mentality. So you cannot just be stuck in that comfort zone that you were in two years ago. You always need to evolve. And make, and make a better version of yourself. I promise you there's so many women out there who will, who will in a snap of a finger, want to make things happen with you. Find those women and save your time from the other ones who are here just to waste it. The reason why this is the most important part of the video is because that time you just saved, you can now spend it on something that actually matters in your life. Something that, that will actually make you money till the day you die and even after. Your purpose. Hope this video made sense. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this video to your friends. Until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and above all, stay classy.